The release of Chernobyl NPP units from spent nuclear fuel was the key factor defining the duration and costs of the shutdown stage. For this purpose, the interim spent nuclear fuel dry type storage facility ISF2, has been created. The significant delay in its commissioning led to the necessity to use the existing wet type storage facility ISF1, which by that time was filled. For this reason, it was necessary to create the conditions allowing using the backup compartment of the ISF storage pool, thanks to which in 2015 the CHNPP units were released from standard nuclear fuel. In 2016 the damaged fuel was also placed into the ISF-1. You are observing fuel retrieval operation at the ISF-1. Spent fuel assemblies are removed from a storage pool compartment into a transfer basket storage compartment, where they are loaded into a 9-place transfer basket and further transported to the ISF-2 by a special purpose rail car. Then, at the ISF-2 spent fuel processing facility, the basket with spent fuel assemblies is unloaded into a hot cell. In the hot cell, a spent fuel assembly is cut into two fuel bundles. Each of them is packed into a separate fuel tubes, which are further placed into a double wall canister, designed for 186 tubes. Following filling of the canister, it is dried with subsequent sealing. The canister is filled with inert gas, helium, delivered into the storage area, loaded into a concrete storage module, where it will be stored under supervision within the next 100 years. In total, more than 21,000 spent fuel assemblies were accumulated during the Chernobyl NPP operation. About 10 years are needed to plate them for the long-term storage at the ISF-2.